Well, um, everyone has to forge their way according to their understanding. And if we're not using, if, if we've not been blessed with a culture of elders that have passed their wisdom down to us, if we are orphaned and cut off from that wisdom of the long living who know how to work as proper stewards of the earth to live long, to be disease free, then we're going to get ourselves into all these quagmires and we're going to be in a, in a paper bag trying to punch our way out and we're going to be totally blind. Mm -hmm. We don't have the solutions with the current science that is using the wrong standards to go by. Um, an example, in the cancer industry, what is unfortunate, and it's, it has been talked about, but it's not covered up, it's just laid off to the side, is the fact that chemotherapy and radiation therapy will initially work to shrink tumors, but it activates 30-fold cancer stem cells. So it causes cancer. So when you're looking at something that you know from science works to where it shrinks tumors, and there's an entire industry that's been wrapped around that for over 50 years, and then suddenly the universities come out and they put it out across all the major newspapers. Oh, by the way, chemotherapy and radiation therapy, although they work, where they shrink tumors down, they activate by 30-fold cancer stem cells. It stuns everybody. Wow. And nobody knows what to do. So these are the kinds of enigmas, of riddles and mysteries that civilization does to itself versus cultures of the long living that don't do that to themselves. They maintain the continuity of wisdom that comes from the elders all the way down to the babies without interruption for over a thousand years. In the case of the, of the Abkhazians, for over 5,000 years. In the case of the Hunzas, for over 3,000 years, or coming up on 3,000 years. So you can't replace that with modern science that's using the wrong standards. Mm -hmm. um, and then you come into the factors of well, the God Almighty dollar has replaced God Almighty. That's not good. I have nothing against Big Pharma making the next major discovery and making a whole bunch of money off of solving a human illness. I have no problems at all with that. And that does happen. What I have problems with is when they're about making more and more and more and more money while they begin to understand that in a particular sense with chemotherapy, they're actually making the problem worse in many cases. I have a right. problem with that. They don't know what to do. So if we had an integrative medical system that would use the natural health approaches that would integrate properly with hard science with the conventional, and we would shake each other's hands and start realizing that we're, we're part of the, the same family, and exchange these ideas, we would understand that the whole mechanism of defeating cancer is based upon hydrogen peroxide. And how does the body do that so it doesn't hurt healthy human cells? Oh, there's a whole huge science there. Oh, we can do that. We can work together to do that. So there, there is this ability for us with wisdom and not basing everything upon the God Almighty dollar to get us back. Now, I want to say this to you, Shane. I don't think there's a way back. I don't think that we're going to make it. I think that there are going to be uh, lots of areas where the phoenix does arise, where people that are listening and use the proper reference points will be able to make it, will be able to pull through. But everyone is not on the same page with their paying attention. They're too into right. doing things the way they want to, and that's going to defeat them. That's where they're growing cancer for 50 years every single day, and then suddenly you say to them, oh, by the way, you have terminal cancer. And they go, what? 